Hello and welcome back to Leaf Blower Revolution. So once again, we have we set up the auto the auto crunch. I showed you how to do that, and we now have almost 800 million uh, BLC. I just let it run for a little bit longer. We might be going uh, buying some upgrades or something, but let's go ahead. Well, first let's get collect our gems, and we have some mythical leaves. That's always nice to see. As you can see, the printers have been working. We now have at least a nominal amount of printers. and But we are going to go and unlock some new areas. We actually unlocked them, but we're going to go ahead and unlock the volcano. And I will get into the mechanics of the volcano once we gather enough um, mythical leaves. So we should have a decent start here. We have some fertilizer and some... Um, oh, we have to turn a few things off first. We definitely don't want it to buy nuclear fuel. I think it's okay for it to buy <clears throat> marketing and the mythical fuel. I think that's fine. And we're just going to start harvesting. Let's see. Oh, what else did we get? Did we get more mythical leaves? We did. Already collecting. Oh, okay. We're already in the millions. Okay. But let's look at the lore real quick while they, you know, they're farming for the volcano. The heat rising from the rim of the volcano wafts away the sweat I worked up climbing the slope. And now a new sweat begins to pour f from my brow. I slide down to a ledge along the side of the basin and peer down further. The deepest parts of the deepest parts shine bright through the cracks in the solidified lava, revealing a vivid and boiling magma underneath. Black smoke black smoke creates curtains between pieces of floating rock, and I jump down to find purchase on one of these islands of relative safety. The heat is more than brutal. I can feel the de dehydration ravaging my body, but I stay strong. Cracking from the surface of the volcano platforms are sheets of rock black with char, lines with cracks of molten lava, but clearly in the shape of leaves. I wipe away the sweat from my face and begin to clear these ear... clear the these ear than leaves? Okay, I don't, I don't understand. When the platform I stand on is rocked by a wave of magma from underneath, I steady myself and try to see where the disruption came from, only to see a shadow approaching me through a sheer, through a sheet of black smoke. With a whirl of gears and pistons, a stone goliath crashes through the curtain and onto my island, sending me to my feet. Its stone body glowing red from the heat of the volcano, its glowing yellow eyes point at me as it begins to drag its crude form in my direction. Panicked, I rise to my feet and attempt to stop the golem with a blast of stone leaves. They crash against its forged skin, leaving scratches and pox, but the stone monster continues its march towards me. I know I need to run, so I jump through a sheet of smoke and land on another platform. I gather a volcanic pile of leaves and wait for my moment. The golem crosses onto the new area and is met with a barrage of slashes and slices, cracking pieces of his exterior and exposing his inner machinery. I leap to another floating rock and I start to gather leaves for my next assault. However, I realize I'm cornered. Sheer walls encapsulate me. The golem reaches through the smoke and onto my platform, and I release my assault. The flying rocks pummel the form, tearing away sheets of its shell, and I can hear the gears inside grinding and moaning with damage, but the golem's march is only slowed. I retreat, and my back is met with the, the smooth wall of the volcano. Wait. Too smooth. I turn and realize that by complete chance I've stumbled across a sheer metal door, a battered keypad hidden along its side. I slam the door open button and hear a recording from behind the door. Initiating door open sequence. Please stand by. Seconds seem like hours as I watch the stonework monstrosity creep ever closer and realize that the door won't open in time. I peel one last volcanic leaf from the wall with the, the heat of its singing, singeing my fingers through my gardening gloves, and I throw it like a giant shuriken into the hollow body. It disappears from sight as it bangs around the gears and shell, and then with a loud screech emanates, and then a loud screech emanates from the golem. Its body freezes, lifeless glowing visor locked on me, and then fades to black. My heart is beating out of my chest. 
the golem's corpse mere steps away when a sound from behind me makes me jump in terror. Door opening. Watch your step. So that is the volcano. So what mystery... I, you know, and I swear that's from something. I can't place it, but I swear to God, there was a very similar scene somewhere where somebody was fighting something, and they ran up against a door, and they tried to open the door. Maybe it was like Austin Powers or something that spoofed it. And, and then, <clears throat> you know, maybe it was a, a, a GoldenEye thing. I, don't, I mean, not a GoldenEye, a James Bond thing. I don't know, but that seems so familiar for somebody to be backed up against a door and try to open the door, but the door opens too slow, and so then they have to wait. Yeah. Anyways, you get the idea. And we're already up to um, <clears throat> 80 million. Very nice. It will take us a bit to get some seeds. You know, I need to switch my pet. Foxo, you're a you're very good pet, but you're not what I need right now. We need Doggo. Because Doggo increases our combo multiplier. And then I unused him. So go, Doggo, go. Pet Doggo. Doggo is a good dog. And more gems. What else did we get? No, oh, that was it. And we're getting <clears throat> very close to an upgrade, but I'm not sure what upgrade we're going to get. As much as I want it to be a certain upgrade, it's probably going to be something else. But I can't say with certainty. <clears throat> I only have 300 gems left. It is a tragedy. Yeah, so one of the things I could have bought is offline MLC, and I'll see if I made a mistake getting the other the magnet first. So we will see very shortly if I made a, a big mistake. Like a big mistake. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm not trying for first place, and so it's not a big deal. You know, we're playing this for fun, and, and the result of the competition, you know, that's a, just a nice idea. I do have almost 300 million BLC. Is there something I could buy to help this? Yes, there is. I know there is. So first off, let's get our printer ink up. We can spend at least a million on printer ink. That's not going to do too much right now, but it will be helpful later. Huh? And what, what, we, what we really need to do is buff Master of Leaves and what the combo. Also, I don't think we can use coins on Mythic Leaves. Is Mythic Le yeah, Celestial Leaves is the last one that coins work on. So... No buffs for myth mythic leaves from that. But we're slowly getting towards the billions. But we need many, many mythic leaves. But that's okay. I want to unlock the lava leaves. Good doggo. Basically, in the mythic leaf shop, what we're looking to do is unlock lava leaves. Oh, that's a great question. Did I, I, I never adjusted my coin bot? We, we could probably adjust this, yeah. Uh, let's see. We can spend a billion. We can spend a trillion. We can... I would say we can probably comfortably go up to at least 30. But yes, because I'm trying to actually get things done, we'll go a little bit further. Probably won't go any higher than that. That's 44% off. That should make things a little bit more affordable. Yes, much more affordable. Oh, and we can't forget the trades. Because, again, trading is... A, we actually need to start trading for mulch. Oh, doggo, I forgot to swap you for penguino. Oh, well. So we definitely need to get more cheese, too. And we most certainly need more... Oh, I just picked up a trillion a trillion gold leaves. That is one thing. It, it, the, you, like, you don't get gold leaves anymore. So it's all dependent on seeds. And of course I'm using my gold leaves to buff combo. Combo wombo. What was I going to get instead of what I think I was going to get? Well, I have to get this. Damn. Yeah, it's probably going to be the next thing I get. I really want the auto dig bot, but I won't be able to get him anytime soon. Oh, and I also have to get Barrow Love Gems. Jeez, there's a lot of things I have to get. 
Yeah, Barrow, basically what he does, we can look at Barrow real quick. He's very neat. We can't use him yet, but he accepts two new trades and collects two finished trades every minute and reduces the cost by 50%. So what you can do when you're AFK, right? In an ideal world, you have your auto dig bot, so you just have it dig, 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 and dig, and dig. You have Pinguino, Butterflyo, and uh, Barrow automatically doing trades for you. Penguino makes it faster, um, Barrow makes auto does the trades, and Butterflyo like buffs all your other pets, so you always want to have him. And um, yeah, I was actually considering buying this in the season shop, the pet house. I can't imagine that where this would ever not be good to have uh, an additional pet. Um, I was torn between that and the craft hammer. But okay, that's 155. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get 10 of the all leaves or more BLC. But it would take 155 to finish that off. I don't know that dig muscles would be all that useful in material duplicator. It depends how it depends if we can get more season gems. But I'm thinking we can get a pet house cuz another pet would be very useful. So doggo you can come get Butterflyo, and you can work together to give us more combo. No, more combo. And more combo means we get more Mythic Leaves. And more Mythic Leaves means we get more Lava Leaves. And more Lava Leaves means we get, well, you'll see. And this isn't the only way to increase the number of pets either. Also, we can start upgrading um, our pets. You might not be able to do this, you need to have alchemy for this really to work, but because I have the materia pack, we're going to go ahead and upgrade Butterflyo because he basically buffs every pet, and we're going to get him up to apparently level 6. So he's going to make whoever he's paired with uh, a little bit stronger. I think we can go look at his stats. And it is 12%, for, and it works for unique leaves too, I forgot. So he has a base 20%, and we upgraded him to 12% more, so now he's at 32%. So good job, Butterflyo. At least I think it's additive and not multiplicative. It would make sense for it to be additive. So he's going to help Doggo with our make our combo bigger. He's going to help. Ooh, yeah, you can see me digging. They see me dig and they see me tearing. They see me destroying the ground beneath me. I'm not a rapper. But, yeah, you can see that additional combo, and we got probably more, yep, more mythical leaves. We got all nine of there. That's very nice. I really would like some more season gems, please. But we're, okay, what's going on with our, okay, we're almost done. We, we It's going to probably be uh, one more mythical, a couple more mythical fertilizers, which is fine. We will need all the fertilizer eventually for uh, seeds. The way seeds work, the the way seeds work is you get more seeds when you have more of the spawn stuff. That's a very terrible thing. Fertilizer increases your seed spawn chance. So you so the more fertilizer you have, the more likely you're going to get a seed of that type. So it's very important, and of course we're going to want mythic seeds because I will show you why. It's very important because look how expensive these are. There's a new shovel. Shovels are very good. Very important to get the new shovel. We're shoveling, and we're loving it. Oh, and don't forget to pet your pets. Very important to pet them and make them feel happy. They have to feel happy. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, we can't turn it on. Yeah, we can't turn it on. We actually are farming exotic leaves here, too. Kind of, I don't know if that's, I think that kind of slows things down, because we probably get more Mythic Leaves without it, but it's not going to take us long to get to the next part. And the next part will be Lava Leaves, but we have to unlock them first. Alright, I don't understand how we just suddenly got a bunch, but I'm not going to complain. I thought it, I think it jumped, like, a lot. And we have an error, invalid result. That's an issue. If you If you see that... That is an issue with the uh, upload. 
I don't know if I, I, I dug up a huge amount of leaves or what, because you can see I'm digging up billions of flasks. And clearly they, they're immediately getting used for some kind of nefarious purpose. Yep, oh, gotta pet the pets. Yeah, I really miss my uh, di auto dig because auto dig comes with a free uh, dig magnet. Oh, what did we get? Okay, we're almost done with the fertilizer. Yep, and another, another couple billion for the... Uh... All right, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, yes, we want, we want more gems. And that, that's another great way to get... Um... So mulch is really important because mulch gives you uh, extra, higher trade caps an extra trade slot and some cheaper and it reduces the cost of trades a little bit not as much as I would like but you know anything counts right <clears throat> yep a bismuth leave yeah and you can already see how useless fruits are so useless I don't understand uh, what the what determines how much you dig up when you dig up leaves. I don't know what that's based off of. I don't know if that's based off of your maximum amount per second or what. All right, we're already at two billion. We'll be we'll be to lava leaves pretty quickly. It won't take too long. <clears throat> Especially with our extra pet doggo. He has increased our combo multiplier to. Um, 71, 71,000. Good job, doggo. But yes, you're seeing the power of digging. I don't even know what these guys are spending. What, what are you guys even buying? Oh, they're giving me health. Okay. Well, the good news is I will be ready for the lava place because of that. Um, the way the lava place works is it is a very intensely hot place, so you do take damage. You take damage from hanging out there. And we're picking up those materials because they're floating to us, which is great. Um, one of the settings I use is, um, just in case you're wondering how I make them stop, it's called, uh, I don't even know why this isn't on by default, maybe it's confusing. It is right-click locks player, and you should always have that on. The reason being is then you can park yourself somewhere and he doesn't follow the mouse, otherwise it's a pain in the butt. <clears throat> Wait, what What are you buying? What gobbled up the leaves? Oh, that, okay, that was the last fertilizer. So theoretically, the next thing should be the lava leaves. And we will be ready to go to the heat, in the heat of the volcano. In the heat of the volcano. Actually, I realized I forgot to grab something. We'll grab a printer printer. It was only 100, 100 million, which is nothing at this point. This will vastly help increase the amount of celestial leaves we get. Because now, and now, if we buy upgrades like uh, bigger printer room, it actually makes sense now because we can actually fill the printer room up. So let's look at our printers. And you can already see that things are millions of leaves. And thousands of leaves for the newer leaves. So this this is also great for auto crunching because now we will print like so many leaves and it makes crunching even faster because you just print the leaves. You you know you basically print gold and then it uh, it I mean sorry print regular and then it unlocks gold immediately. You print gold it unlocks that and it's just so much faster. Like this is so much faster than what I was doing with converters. But I couldn't really get it going without printer printers. So. So now we could we could improve our auto crunch time. Which still, I mean, if you if you haven't seen, there is a leaderboard for this, and I am playing under the name Zerden, so you can look at how bad I'm doing. And um, it's on Humble North site. Humble North Games creating video games for everyone, and their one game is Leaf Blower Revolution. It's still, it's pretty neat. So you can go to that in online season four. And 
if you look at the leaderboards, and I'm on the PC main leaderboard because I did use the DLC I purchased, you can search for Zerden, and we will search. And I am in the top 50% because I still suck at this game. I am rank 130. Yeah. But hey, you know what? I'm, I'm doing my best, all right? Doing our best, and we're having a good time while doing it. Of course, I am going slower because I'm making videos. Like, normally, I, I wouldn't, you know, wait. You know, I wouldn't have waited. I would just set things up and just automate it and just let it rip. But I wanted, I wanted to start making some videos for something new. A lot of people have asked for, hey, can you do another game? And this is the game that I wanted to try. I actually have enjoyed playing it a lot. I've almost completed all the challenges. And after the season, we'll, I'll probably be starting a different challenge if I don't complete it sooner. If you are wanting to go back from the season and you're in the middle, you can basically save and return to main game here. Or you can, uh, and uh, basically that will return you to the main game and you can work on progressing. You can basically do three things at once. You can progress in the main game, um, but you need to get to a a BLC point before you can do the challenges. If you get challenges unlocked, you can then progress in the main game and the challenges and the season all at the same time. And you know what? Let's see. I might as well show you a little bit of that. So we're going to get about uh, half a million a minute. I mean, half a billion a minute, which isn't great, but isn't terrible. Um, so you know what? We are going to take a quick detour, and I'm going to show you uh, what else I've been working on. So we go to Seasons, Save Season. I always try to save the season first so that it make I make sure that it is uploaded because there has been issues with uploading. Um... Um, um, what just happened? Oh, that's not good. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, well, that, that's not, that's not a good sign. Uh, let me check something. Of course it would happen while I'm recording a video, right? Nothing like p being put on the spot. I'm actually logging into Discord right now um, on, on another device. I can't Alt-Tab here. I don't know what it is with these games where they auto-minimize. It's really annoying, and I haven't been able to fix it. So, um, yeah, this isn't good. All right, well, yeah, they do have some mechanics to prevent cheating, so, yeah. Okay. 
So apparently it has a cooldown, it just doesn't say what the cooldown is. I mean, it makes sense, you shouldn't need to save all the time, but I didn't, I don't think I've ever seen it, like, lock like that before. Usually it saves, it says saved, and uploaded to the cloud, and everything's happy. So, let's see, it's been a little bit, it's still stuck. So now I can't show you the rest of my game. <clears throat> I don't think that's ever happened. Did, oh, we unlocked the lava leaves. So now we will go to Lava Land. So now we can actually go to the volcano. And again, we won't be able to dig up lava leaves until we at least blow one lava leaf off. So, oh, plenty of gold leaves. There's a lava leaf, you can see it right there. And boom, shakalaka, now I can dig up lava leaves. Oh, our trade completed. Nice, we got some mulch. I don't think we can do anything with that small amount of mulch yet. You are seeing the lava leaves start to pile up, which is good. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. And also, with the unlocking of lava leaves, our lava leaf printer is now printing. So we already have reached infinity coin costs for those, so... This will slowly help the celestial leaves, and as well as the other leaves, for faster um, crunches. I am going to oh collect my achievement for my lava leaves. Always need more gems. Good seven more gems. Oh, and digging simulator. I have I have dug. <clears throat> And see, we just dug up 54 million lava leaves. Okay, so, ever so slowly. <clears throat> well, I'm assuming we got more lava leaves, because we, we need these gems very badly.
So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this. Oh, okay, it fixed itself. All right, that was weird. I, I've i never seen it do that before. All right, so we are going to go, and let's see. Let's see what my offline rewards are. All right, so I guess it has a cooldown. I, I've never, okay, we're doing better with lava leaves and, all right, whatever. <clears throat> we are going to then go to season or seasons and save and return to main game. I oh okay there we go save uploaded I I don't know I didn't say that before but okay so here is my main game I will show you the challenges I've completed all the ones with green check marks I was actually going to start the video with doing either the free to play challenge or the speed blower MLC percent challenge but it didn't work out but you can actually see some of my stuff like look at all those gems and mulch I trade for that's what I need and we will get cooking eventually and so I am a little bit further in the game I'm not gonna try to spoil too much I just wanted to kind of show you my main account that, and show you how you can play basically this is more to show you you can play main and you can play challenge at the same time to unlock challenge you just need to do a BLC on your main and you would just go in here then you would go to Resume challenge. And then this is the challenge I'm working on. It's a little bit further than we, what we are. Oh, we'll take a cheese delivery. Yeah, at this point, I'm just trading for cheese on this one. And you can see that I've been basically... Um, uh, I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. Let me just buy some of this. Okay. I'm basically working on my seeds for the, the other leaves. I just wanted to pop in here. And again, this is only for the challenge. So we're up to 68 now. I do have the fancier shovel, you can see. Not as fancy as the other shovel I have. And Okay, I only have leaf damage here. That's not a big deal. Yeah, this is this is the this is the no printing challenge, so you can't buy printer printer. But I can buff my converters and get them some crits and stuff like that. So so that's just an example of how you can play the season and play a challenge at the same time. And you just get you just get offline rewards for them. So, I mean, you can progress at three different places. Yep, and my trades are ready. And unfortunately, Barrow does not trade while you're offline. So you do have to actually have the game running for trades. But trades will um, do run while you're offline, as you saw. So one of the things I'll do on like the challenges is set up a bunch of trades, which I forgot to do. We will go back to the challenge real quick. And then just check back in later and see what the, you know, wait for the trades to come in. That way I can keep progressing. On, all right, we'll just leave that. So I can keep progressing on my main account. And I am going to make a guide and we will go over all the challenges because there is a recommended order you should do them in. And I did not know what the recommended order was when I started, and it didn't screw me up, but there's a lot of bonuses you can get really easily. What the hell? Did we did we somehow get max obsidian leaves while I was gone? Well, whatever, I guess. That'll come useful later. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's why I have Penguino out. Because I can just trade for... Well, I'll just trade for everything just to get... Th I'm really just trying to get cheese at this point. I'm not too concerned with what I'm trading for because I'm not going to sit here and fish for trades while we're trying to do the season, but I'm trying to get some cheese. And the best way to get the, the best way to AFK cheese is to switch, you know, do that and then switch back. So now we're going to go back to the main account. And, and since um, this is not as advanced, the trades take an hour. So, And I'm not too worried about rushing through this because... 
I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about the challenges in another in another video. So now after that little detour that we've taken, we, and I, I kind of did a challenges guide. I'm going to cut that out and cut that into a separate thing, and we'll, we'll deal with that later. We are going back to the main challenge. So let's get going. Oh. We should have plenty of, of uh, leaves. And yeah, there are multiple seasons too. So, And here we go. And we got to lava leaves. And, oh, and it kicked us out of the volcano because the volcano hurts us. And we have we have unlocked ice leaves. We can't go to ice leaves yet, but we can try to trade for them. So that's something to keep in mind. Trading will become more and more critical as we move along. So where is Penguino? Oh, so we're going to swap Doggo out. And with Penguino... Okay, nice. And give them some pets. And all right, we're going to go to lava leaving. Okay, so we did get some good fertilizer. And and really at this point, we're trying to just get more uh, BLC because the next unlock is 1 billion. So there's not too much more to do outside of basically try to get the seeds for Celestial for the lava, for the miss, the mythical leaves and the lava leaves. So I will probably do that offline. I will work on getting enough BLC to get us to the unlock the next place. If I trade for some of these leaves, I'll try to see if I can get the seed rolling on the ice leaves and unlock the obsidian leaves. If I do any of that by trading, I'll just catch you up offline because really it's trading is not that exciting. You, I press this, I wait, the trade comes in, it's good or it's bad, and we continue on. So, I, I, again, I, I won't go to new areas, but if I trade my way up, I will 100% do that. And uh, that's about where I'll leave it. But once again, thank you. Oh, and one more thing. I need to turn my ALBs back on. That I turned them off to show what piling was. But uh, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have any questions, please say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And I do hope you join me in this season. And I hope we have fun with it. So thank you again, and I hope you have a good day.